what's up guys and welcome back to my channel whether you are old or you are new you are most definitely welcome my name is Priscilla I am a women's wear designer based in London and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a two-piece collar so this is the kind of collar you would normally see on shirts especially button-up shirts you would see it on some jackets on some jumpsuits on some dress designs as well if you'd like to see how to make this pattern as well as sew this collar together then keep on watching once you have the basics of the collar locked down you have the freedom to be as experimental as possible you can change the shape the width and just sort of play to the desires of your heart if you like to see how this thing is made from the pattern all the way to the sewing then keep on watching I'll be using the following tools to create this collar design and I've laid them out here so you can see. I'll be needing my bodice front and back because I need to measure around the neckline to get the exact measurement I need. I'll also be needing some pattern paper which I'm going to be linking down below for anyone that is curious. I'll need my set square and my pattern master. I'll also need a tape measure to take down my measurements. I will need also paper scissors, fabric scissors and my tiny baby scissors which I use to mark notches. I'm also going to be using a marker pen so you can see what I'm doing clearly. So I'm just going to go ahead and first of all tape the shoulder point of the front to the back so I can get the measurement of the neckline. So like this I'm going to measure using a tape half of the neckline measurement that wraps around the neck so i'm measuring the front and going all the way to the back and it was 28 centimeters so i thought this was a bit too big and that's because the center front neckline is a bit too sort of deep and that you can fix by raising it up so we need to make the main collar as well as the collar stand to create the two-piece collar but like i said earlier on to achieve a more tailored collar you need to raise the front neckline by about five centimeters and sort of match up the back to fit the front so i'm just going to go in and make my collar stand first and my collar stand is about three centimeters wide you don't want it to be too tall else you're going to find that the collar is going to be really high on your neck but the choice is yours so once that is done i'm going to go in and draw a straight line that is 28 centimeters long which is the half of our neck measurement and i'm just going to mark that as well so i'm going into drawing a second 28 centimeter line so we have have a rectangle that is 20 centimeters long and three centimeters wide I'm going to go in and mark my shoulder point which is 18 centimeters from the center front which is the other side that I'm marking like so and I'm going to go in and extend from the center front outwards by three centimeters and round off the tip like this because this needs to wrap around your placket which typically sits at the front of button up shirts or jackets so i'm just indicating that that's my center front and transferring my shoulder point notch to the other side of this rectangle shape that we've drawn here we're going to be changing up the shape a bit so the co the collar stand is a bit closer to your neck i'm going to go to the center front point and mark 2.5 centimeters upwards because we're going to be raising the center front in this direction so i'm going to connect the shoulder point to that new 2.5 centimeter mark and raise that entire front piece like i'm doing here so i'm just marking three centimeter three centimeter three centimeter and then i'm going to draw in the new bottom of this rectangle piece like so so once i've connected the dots together we're going to have a new shape which we're going to be tracing off and this will become the color stand so in the same way we've created this raised side we need to create the extension like we did earlier on the three centimeter extension and round off the top because this is your button stand and it's going to wrap over your placket on the center front of the shirt so once that is done i'm going to trace out the collar stand and add a one centimeter seam allowance so it can be joined to the main collar on top so this is what the collar stand looks like you normally would cut it on a fold so you have one piece that wraps around the neck and you will cut two pieces of this so it's nice and neat both inside and outside so the next thing I'm going to do is to make the main collar piece and I'm going to be grabbing some fresh pattern paper and I'm going to trace around the top of the collar stand like and as well. So I'm marking in my notches using dash lines to 
trace out the front and the back necks indicate my center back as well and i'm going to join these lines together so i can have a clear line for my main collar after that i'm going to turn the piece of pattern paper around and i'm going to be drawing a diagonal line from the center front point i'm doing this because i want a pointed a collar tip if you want yours to be rounded you have the freedom to do so and i want my collar to be seven centimeters tall on the center back and i'm going to be connecting that seven centimeter point to our diagonal line if you need to extend the diagonal line do so because both lines have to meet the diagonal line has to meet the straight line that is on top so you have one full shape that becomes the main color piece so once that is done i'm just going into indicate folded points as well as my notches and i'm going to be adding a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around except the end that is indicated as a fold so this is what it looks like right now the folded end is the center back same as for the color stand i had to add on some extra pattern paper for this edge here so i could add my seam allowance and the way this works is you need to cut two pieces on a fold to make this main color piece which you would fit into the color stand so i'm just going in to cut out my main color piece using my paper scissors and once we've cut this piece out we have the second piece of this tutorial done so these are the two main pattern pieces that you need to create a two-piece collar and this is what they look like Both pieces would be cut along the grain and not on the bias like I showed for the color stand. I stand corrected however if you argue otherwise please let me know in the comment section down below. But once all the patterns are done it's time to actually cut out the pattern pieces. So I folded my material so I have a folded edge and I've pinned down both pattern pieces and I'm just going in to cut out my collar stand as well as the main collar. You would need to cut two pieces for these different pattern panels as well as fuse them with interfacing because this material was really really thin i had to add interfacing on the wrong side and here i'm just going in to mark all of my notches because they'll become very crucial when it's time to join the pieces together so these are all the pieces laid down together i have two for each side and like i said i've fused it with interfacing on the wrong side on the material and what this does is it makes the material a bit more stiff and stable and adds more structure especially for the main color piece if your material is a bit thick you might not need to fuse both pieces you might just need to fuse only one or not even fuse any at all so next up i'm placing right sides together of the main color piece and i'm going to be sewing it up along the straight edge and down the two sides you want to leave the bottom edge open because we're going to be turning this inside out so when you get to a corner like this you just turn it to the other side drop the footer down and just continue sewing until you reach the other end of the color piece leave the needle in turn it around and continue sewing down the other end until you reach the end not forgetting to do a back stitch so once that is done i'm going to go into the corners and trim them down because that's going to allow that tip of the collar to be more pointed when you fold it inside out to reveal the right side of the material so i'm just going in to turn in both sides inside out to show the right side of the fabric and i'm going to be pressing the collar down to relax the seams so this is what the collar looks like pressed fresh nice and neat and the next thing we need to do is to attach the collar stand to this main collar piece so i'm going to be grabbing one end of the collar stand placing right sides together and matching my notches so i'm matching the center back right here then i'm going to go in and match the center front then i'm going to turn this the other way around and grab the other side of the collar stand and just match both sides together using my pins so what you end up doing is you end up sandwiching the main collar in between the two pieces of the collar stand so when you sew along this end from one side all the way to the other you catch the collar in between the collar stand and you just have a nice and neat finish on the inside so sewing on a one centimeter seam allowance using a normal straight stitch i'm just sewing from one side to the other getting to the end doing my back stitch to attach the collar stand to the main collar 
I'm going to go in like I did earlier with color to trim off any excess bits, especially around ends that would need to be nice and pointed or nice and rounded. So I'm just trimming off from the curved ends of the color stand and then I'm going to turn this inside out and it will look like this. The color is already coming to life. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick press to relax all of my seams and this is what the two-piece color would look like when it's finished so when you want to attach it to your main garment you sew it along the bottom of the color stand which is along this side i will have to do a separate video in which i make a shirt or a dress to show you how to attach this piece to the rest of the garment but this is what the finished color looks like i just pinned it quickly on my mannequin to show you guys as you can see it's a bit loose because i did not raise my original back and front pattern but if you raise yours up the center front it would be more tailored and tighter around the neck of the collar but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you try it out for yourself if you did please give this video a thumbs up comment down all of your questions ideas and suggestions down below and until my next video stay creative guys because it's the most fun way to express yourself and i'll see you guys in my next one bye